It's a little bit difficult to know exactly when the vortex would have been discovered. The folklore we have says that the Native Americans first discovered the vortex by riding their horses up the hill. When they got to the edge of the area, their horses refused to enter, so they made it the forbidden ground and did not come back. It was sort of rediscovered once we had the prospectors coming up and down the west coast. They came to Gold Hill and they began to run into problems weighing the gold out, getting construction to work quite right. So one of the mining engineers contacted his friend John Lister. He said, you're a mining engineer, you're a physicist. He said, you need to come out here and check this place out. I can't make heads or tails of things. So Lister moved up here around 1914 and began doing experiments in 1915. He eventually was able to open the, the place up as a tourist attraction with his first theory in 1930. It has been a tourist attraction and been open to the public since 1930 and has only changed hands once. It's actually one of the oldest businesses here in town. Well, you can expect to see things not working quite the way you would expect them to. The most notable aspect of what we do would be the height change, which is just one small part of a phenomena that occurs, but is definitely the most noticeable. You go out there on a level platform and you will actually change in size from one end of a level platform to the other. Now, most people upon hearing that will tell you, no, you don't. That can't happen. There is absolutely no way. And to that, I've responded, well, you have to come see it to believe it. But we'll give you those couple of theories, we'll go through the demonstrations, discuss what we do know about the area, and then we leave it up to the individual to come out of that tour and decide what exactly is going on around here. Some people occasionally do walk out going, I don't know how they're tricking us, but I know they are. But most people that have been through on my tour walk out if you're a believer at the end. I think one of the most interesting things for people coming through here is you have a physical and tangible mystery that you can actually explore. Being able to see that and experience that sort of wakens people's imaginations. It gives you a chance to go, wow, we really don't know that much about how the world around us is in fact working. Most of what I can say about the Vortex, you really need to come up and see it before you're ever gonna believe me.